This week I received a question from a premium member. The question was whether it is better to run a system like the robot trading system continuously or to stop it at the weekend. How would you answer that? Would you say that this trading system is good or bad? We have a deposit of $10,000, a profit of $194 and currently an open balance of about $38. Would you want to trade such a system? Please take a look at the chart as it appears now and let me know if you are happy with these results. But there is a background story to this which I will now tell. I have to admit that for the last 5 or 6 days I have been quite indifferent to what my trading systems have been doing. Last Friday I was out and about and at a party in the evening. I wasn't feeling particularly well on Saturday, so I took most of the day off. On Sunday, my stomach was so upset that I went straight back to bed at lunchtime. I got myself a bucket and only got out of bed if I had to. Until Tuesday evening this means that I've done practically nothing on any system since last week Thursday. I've hardly been able to answer any customer inquiries either, and of course, as soon as you're halfway fit again, you have to deal with the emails that have come in during this time. Why am I telling you all this? Quite simply, this system here has simply continued to run in the meantime. And if you take a look at all this, you might think that everything is fine. But if we zoom out a little, we can see in the chart that things looked very different on December 8th. At that time, we had a lot of open positions waiting to finally be closed at a profit, and such overhangs can drive many people completely crazy. I can show this now, I can also explain it, but it's a completely different story when you're sitting in front of your own account and asking yourself how it's all going to be closed profitably. This is precisely the weak point in trading. Human emotions have a much greater influence on us than actual results or experience. Even if you've been trading automatically for many years, you can still end up in the same situation where you think it may have gone well 100 times, but you fear this one time it's going to go wrong, and then you want to cut your losses and trade for emotional reasons. This is exactly what I had last Thursday with another of my trading systems. There, such an overhang of open positions had now gotten so close to the profit target that I felt a very strong emotional desire to close all open Open positions at a loss just to feel better. The only thing that stops me from doing this is the fact that I have now learned that this kind of feeling makes you unable to stick to your own rules. I almost always run my systems around the clock. I say almost always because there have been and probably always will be exceptions, for example when we moved to a new house. Of course, before I could start my systems again, I had to set up all the computer hardware again and set up the internet connection. But try explaining to your wife why the kitchen isn't up yet when you've invited the movers over for dinner in the evening after the move. What I'm trying to say is that there are always priorities that you have to set, and situations arise that you were never prepared for before. We can probably all remember the first day of the lockdown pretty clearly, and in my case it was on the way back from a funeral service when we heard about it on the radio, and the sirens went off at the same time. That was also an extremely unusual and emotional situation, and I stopped my systems then too. But normally I trust that what I have tested over a long period of time and what the results in the strategy tester show me is in line with what I experience in everyday trading with automated systems. And unfortunately that's not what most people want, because even if it works in the long term, it usually doesn't feel particularly good emotionally in the meantime. Crazy enough, in the last few days of illness I haven't given a thought to what my trading systems are producing, because I had other things to worry about. And I'm pretty happy with this result here, because I'm less concerned with the current profit on this particular account and more concerned with having long-term confidence in a system that plays by my rules even when I can't at the moment. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.